Example 1. Let's look at this example to see how we can use an equation of motion to solve a problem of moving object. An object traveling at 5 meters per second accelerates at 3 meters per second squared for 10 seconds. How far does it travel during the 10 seconds? Let us list down, let us list down the information that we have. An object traveling at 5 meters per second means the initial velocity u equal to 5 meters per second. The acceleration a equal to 3 meters per second square. And it travels for 10 seconds means the time taken t equal to 10 seconds. We need to find the displacement. We have four equations of motion. In this case, we don't have the final velocity v. The only equation that does not involve v is s equal to ut plus half a t square. Copy the equation, substitute u, a, and t into the equation, and solve it. We get s equal to 200 meter. Solving a numerical problem in physics is pretty simple. You just need to identify and list down the physical quantities involved, choose the correct equation, and then plug in the relevant physical quantities into the equation and solve the equation. Steps to solving linear motion problems. Many students find that solving physics problem is difficult. This is because they don't know the techniques of solving physics problems or they do not follow the proper steps of the physics problem solving. If you master all these steps, solving numerical physics problems will be very easy for you. The steps of solving physics problems are First, write down a list of things that you know about the problem. For example, is velocity given? What is the acceleration? Second, Write down a list of potential equations that might apply to the problem. Third, choose the correct equation. Fourth, substitute the physical quantities into the equation. And fifth, solve the equation. In the following slides, we will go into the detail of each step of solving linear equation problems.